I think we should do we it as. Just revert to the standard pictures. As, <laughs> and if we need to, yeah, the standard pictures and descriptions, yeah, that's not going to fly right now. We'll make a video of the pictures, like those people who put videos of pictures on YouTube. No. It's terrible. I think we should do it as, and if we need be, we'll do subtitles after. Works? YouTube caption boxes that everybody turns off. No annotations. Annotations are the death of YouTube. <laughs> Shall we start? I think already did. <laughs> Great. Right. This is gonna be a how to video of us just standing here talking about stuff. How to sit around a car and bullshit for three and a half hours. How to decide how to done. make a how to video, then give up and go pizza. <laughs> oh, no pizza. <laughs> Anyhow. Anyways, yeah. Look okay. another Ranger. Uh. 2002 Ford Focus. SVT grill and headlight swap. That's pretty much all there is to begin with. First things first, we gotta take off the rad cover and the grill. Headlights come out after that. Dropping the new lights, dropping the new grill. The cover back on, and then done. hopefully everything's done. <laughs> we should begin. First thing we gotta do is take out these stupid little half screw, half. I don't want to call them. Splander? Expander clips? Yeah. Which you've got to Terrible. Be, I'd like to call them. Terrible ideas. You have a body. Clip removal tool, it's really nice to have, be able to find. But guess what we can't do right now? Find our body clip removal tool. Yeah. Yep. So, it should come out after a lot of pain and suffering. And the next step goes. We'll take those ones out, grab another screwdriver. Should be super careful because these things are terrible. Delicate. Move the Intake tray out of the way. All right, so looks like we got one, two, three, four bolts holding the grill in place. Plus the lights. Probably my old friend, Mr. Ten. Yeah, it's a ten. Mm -hmm. There's another ratchet set in the back of the shop by the oil monitor. Oh, yep. That one's got to stay complete though, because that one's the one that is complete. Yeah. Oh look, a dead bee. That's that's pleasant. I hate to see that. Here is the SVT grill we will be putting in its place. A little bit different, honeycomb pattern, exposed marker lights. Just a little bit showy. Yeah, it's garbage. Got glass. Screw. You want to have me the 10 mil wrench? Yep, dessert. This car is pretty clean underneath. Holy. Accessibility is nice and poor underneath here. It's, that always makes things fun. We're right close to being finished. Some little bracket, or some little clip, or some little screws, just uncooperative. Yep. Explain. So, just like on the grill, you had the expanding butterfly clips. Basically, we had the same thing going on here with the uh, lower headlight bolts. What they are is plastic with a 10 mil bolt as opposed to the standard screw, as you can see. They, Spans it open, and when we're turning them, 
full assembly was turning, as you can see by the grooves it's worn. And that one thing was stopping her from progression, bringing a headlight that actually came out of the car. Which is out just like that. Fantastic. And there we go. One OEM for headlamp. One. Headlamp. We'll leave both out so we can get a good picture of the front of the car. Flathead underneath it. Okay. Go to town. As I was turning, probably up with the flathead, kind of at the same time holding the uh, clip in place. Mm. Once it got out, it found some new threads. Because <laughs> the bottom end was just all messed up. So once it found some new threads, came right out. Yeah. This is what the front end of your focus will look like with no headlight and grill. Kind of looks like a skeletor, to be honest. <laughs> so first things first, we'll drop the new headlights in place before we can put in the new grill. Got it sitting back down. Pretty close. Um, There's a tab just underneath here. Okay. That's right. part of the headlight housing. That's kind of kind of drop into a depression in the core support. So once you get about that far, we'll kind of it up a little bit. Yeah, these will probably need to be aimed, but I don't know, we don't really have the setup to do that. Yeah. Well, these ones are those new style. They don't even have the uh, pins on them like the old ones used to do. Of course, I can't think it's the last time I've seen someone laser align a headlight anyways. It's always tape of a T on a garage door. Three feet, yeah. was it three feet high from 20 feet away? Something like that. And uh, yeah. aim that one a little bit more in. I mean, that's, it works for the old solid string. Backyard mechanic method, right? Yeah. You got your bottom one in? Underneath there? Yeah. No. Okay. I'm liking the look that this car's gotten with the dark headlights. Yeah, this looks substantially better. Yeah. What was a personal appearance choice to begin with? Is one thing that Chris really likes is the honeycomb pattern, right? It's just one of the designs he likes. So the SBT grill is the exact honeycomb. Has that honeycomb pattern. Because I mean, yeah. the ZX3. Focus. As far as I can tell, it uses the same tails as the ZX5, right? Between 2000 and 2007, and the same basic body styles. So. We'll save it, obviously. And, you know. We'll save the piece, and if we get any vibration complaints on the road, then we'll know that we need to repair it. Yep. But as it sits, it seems legit. Yep. I don't know. I'll have to pick up your garbage. Yeah. Let's put these in first because we know that once the grill is in place, it'll become a bear of a job. Alright, one should click in like that. Rotate it clockwise. And the exact same for the other side. Rotate it. Look at that. Now all we gotta do is line that tab up. This one should snap over that and over that other side as well. Just make sure you don't want to force it too much. Yep. Yeah. Um, I know, I've worked with plastic parts before. Yeah. This looks good, man. This looks very good. You gotta say that though, so that they can't Everything. Um, have an issue? Yeah, it's got like a shoulder kind of thing that gets bigger as it comes down. It doesn't pop down. I'm not sure. Hmm. What now? You know, the part is, as we're assembling this new grill into place, I've noticed one thing. More and more of these were all broken off the old one. 
this one was broken, down here was broken, that one was broken, that clip wasn't even there. I mean, somebody's been in here. Oh god. We're just a blooper, blooper reel of life, aren't we? Yep, pretty much. See, it's got, like, it comes down here. Like, that's interesting, because that one does it too, but that yeah. one actually seems to fit better for some reason. Hmm. This doesn't want to cooperate. Hmm? As far as I can tell, everything else is spaced out properly. Yeah. It's going over, so we just screw it down. Yes, yeah. And it's just these guys, right? Yeah, just the rusty ones. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here we have it, installing a set of grey housing headlamps and an SVT grill and an O2 focus and what was that, an hour and a half? Something like that. And as you can see it's kind of modernized up the front end of the car, you know, no more faded housings, no more water log, stuff that really shows in these older cars. The only thing that I got any problem with is this rad cover really doesn't fit in now, but other than that, the car looks good. I think the owner will be quite happy with the change. Looks all right. If I do say so myself. I think anyone's never had a shoe closing a hood. Really. Your hood doesn't even fall. I just think it down. was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Freaking ear out from under the bumper. Oh, that's uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs>